In this video, we're going to discuss what's better between pCloud versus iDrive. So firstly, we're going to talk about pCloud, which offers a lot of good features, okay? So the first thing I would like to tell you is that you get top tier encryption with pCloud, lifetime storage, and one-time payment and simple and on-the-go uh, features, okay? Now, as you can see, you can uh, store up to 10 gigabytes of your memories or work files now and upgrade later. So it offers kind of a, a uh, free uh, kind of a free account where you can um, store up to 10 gigabytes for totally free forever. And that's very nifty. As you can see, it says sign up for free over here. And then once you go to pricing, as you can see, you can pay for lifetime plans, which are 200, 400, or 1,190 euros, okay? So it depends on how much storage you'd like. So the premium is 500 gigabytes, the premium plus is two terabytes, and the ultra is 10 terabytes. And these are all the available plans, as you can see. And now you can also pay annually, and as you can see, it's uh, 50 euros annually, so a yearly payment for the 500 gigabyte version, and for the two terabyte version, it's 100 euros yearly payment, okay? Now, you don't have a ultra 10 terabyte version uh, to pay monthly, you can only purchase it in a one-time payment, as you can see. Now, the second thing would be encryption over here, if we click on this site, as you can see, you can get top-level cloud encryption with pCloud, and you can protect your important files in just a simple action. With pCloud encryption, you encrypt your sensitive files on a device and make them invisible to others. Okay, and now as you can see, you can buy encryp encryption for a lifetime, so it's 150 euros, or annually, which is 50 euros per year. Okay. And now you can also see the features down here below. So it's a client-side encryption, zero-knowledge privacy, and easiest way to encrypt slash decrypt, okay? And then you can read all about um, different importances of file protection and what is encryption and stuff like that over here, okay? Now, pCloud Pass is a new feature they've just got. Now, as you can see, it's basically a trustworthy European password manager, okay? And it helps you to keep your passwords and gives you instant secure access to them on all your devices. So you can simply log into sites and fill forms with a single press of a button, okay? And you can start using it for free, actually. As you can see, this is their new premium feature and I've tried it out and it's very, very good, okay? Now, if I go back, you can also download pCloud, as you can see. You can download it and you will see it as a drive on your computer, but it's going to be a cloud of, of cloud, of course. And you can see it's called a, a P drive, so a P cloud drive. And you can just put in your files in there and they'll be automatically backed up uh, onto, the, onto their cloud servers, which is very, very nifty, okay? And that's it when it comes to a P cloud. They also have affiliate programs and you can resell them if you uh, meet their requirements. You can check this out. And yeah, it's overall a very, very good uh, cloud service for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and add-on, okay? So it's very, very cool. On the other hand, we have iDrive, okay, which has also some similar features to the uh, P cloud we were just talking about. So as you can see, it offers multiple device backup, cloud drive, iDrive Express, snapshots and versioning, managing computers, clone computer backup and stuff like that, of course, including some backups and then security and privacy and stuff like that. Now, if I go back to the main page, as you can see, you can download it as well and use it in the basically the same way as we talked about with pCloud, okay? But what's the main difference is that this one is only available for PC and Mac, okay? Now, you can also use it on Linux or Unix servers, as you can see over, over here, but you uh, have to set it up according to their, uh, according to their uh, instructions, okay? Now, you can also, of course, use it on the mobile devices, but in my opinion, the interface between iDrive and pCloud is better on pCloud, okay? So I would recommend that one when it comes to the interface. Now, if you go to pricing up here, as you can see, there's um, different options over here, okay? Now, over here, you only have monthly and yearly payments, but with yearly payments, of course, you save up to 50% because you, well, you paid yearly and you paid more. Now, as you can see, it's the basic free plan, which does not require a credit card and gives you 10 gigabytes of storage. Now, inside the pCloud, that I mentioned earlier, there's also no credit card required to get the 10 gigabytes for free. 
but then you have the iDrive Mini, Personal Team, and Business, and they're of different prices, and you can see, and they offer different features. Now, it goes from 100 gigabytes to 5 terabytes, and then to 250 gigabytes, and so on and so forth. As you can see, the max you can actually get is 100 terabytes over here, okay? But you can also select more plans if you would, of course, if you are, let's say you run a business and you want to get more uh, cloud space. Now, that's pretty much it when it comes to this. As you can see, there's no one-time payment when it comes to iDrive, okay? But yeah, you can also read about the features over here. They uh, back up multiple devices and uh, computers, and they offer continuous data backup and stuff like that, so it's very, very good. Now, as I said, the pCloud does have the password manager, which is their kind of the separate app or separate uh, plan you can purchase, but iDrive doesn't offer that, and yeah, from what I've used, I've used both of them, and I can say that I actually prefer pCloud, however, the iDrive is very, very similar, okay? So yeah, just select one that suits you best, uh, you can try the free versions out, and then um, you can choose a premium plan on both of them, and that's it.